I don't want to shock you. I know how fragile your nerves can be, but I've discovered something rarer than dinosaur eggs, a bank that's not only nice to its customers, but it actually lends them money. Oh, okay, that's better. Where, where was I? Oh yes, at Handel's Bank N. Never heard of it? You will do. Because the Swedish company has brought a revolutionary approach to high street banking here in the UK. And they're bigger than you think, with 160 branches across the country. What's their big new idea? They have a local person called a bank manager who has the power to grant loans locally without having to refer to some centralized computer says no machine. The local staff can get to know their customers and even decide who can open an account and whether they qualify for a loan. Customer satisfaction is their main measure of success and they're more interested in profitability than growth for its own sake. It'll never catch on, I hear you say, but you should know they're opening a new branch every eight days and they'll have over 300 in five years time. They've stuck with the same business model for 42 years. They have the lowest expense ratio of any Scandinavian bank and they don't believe in bonuses. Am I having a wet dream? <laughs> because they discuss your finances before deciding whether to let you open an account, some commentators are suggesting they may be trying to cherry pick only the well-heeled customers. Brilliant. Does that mean I can get to the cashier without waiting for foreign students whose card won't work or pensioners complaining about the threatens halfpenny of interest they've received this year? Bring it on. They've quietly established themselves in second place among the so-called challenger banks behind the woeful co-op with their 324 branches, but way ahead of Virgin on 75 and Metro Bank on just 19. Given their long-term profitability, they might be one of the few bank shares worth owning. Not that I'm giving advice, as you know, just offering an opinion. Tempted to switch banks under the new seven-day rule? Well, before you get too excited, there might be one little problem. The old-fashioned approach extends to what is delightfully called the church tower principle. If you don't live within spitting distance of the branch, they won't let you open an account. They only want to deal with local people who they can get to know. It all sounds delightfully reminiscent of Warmington-on-Sea with the bowler-hatted Mr. Mannering, the obvious choice to lead the home guard when duty called. It's a real case of back to the future and a Nordic invasion that should be welcomed perhaps a little bit more warmly than their previous incursion to these shores. Will this mean that Barclays, NatWest and all the other jokers will stop treating us like terrorists and drug dealers? I doubt it. They're, they're far too arrogant to be influenced by this young upstart. Let's all just quietly vote with our feet and let the big bad banks slowly bleed to death. They're so comatose they probably won't even notice. If you're the chairman or chief executive of one of these truly appalling organizations, you now have one more reason to be very careful out there. Yeah. Every year, we're now seeing half a million extra people arrive here, half of them through a rising birth rate and half through immigration. 